Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is AJ from BI Consulting Pro and in this today's video we are going to discuss about the Power BI desktop, how to download it and how to use it. So this is a second video for our 3 minutes course to Power BI beginners. So let's get head over to my laptop. This is the second video of our series 3 minutes course for Power BI beginners. In this one we are going to discuss about Power BI desktop. So let's start with what is Power BI desktop. Power BI desktop is a free application that can be installed on your laptop or desktop. Secondly, it can connect to data, transform and clean data to build a data model. Thirdly, can create visuals and reports to be shared on Power BI services. The last one is it is very useful for data analysts or BI professionals who are responsible for creating data model and reports. Now after this we are going to have a look how to download Power BI desktop app which is a free app from the Microsoft uh, website and then we are gonna have a look how to install it. So guys this is the link for Power BI uh, da uh, downloadable link for the Power BI desktop which I will also provide in the comment section so from there also you can use it and there are many applications but our main focus is on Microsoft Power BI desktop. I will discuss with you all these applications later in the later videos but our main focus over here is this one. So go to advanced option over here you will find different details about it so always try to download the latest version from this one and there are Power BI desktop setup for 64 bit as well as 34 bit since we are most of we are using this machine so we are going to download the 64 bit click on download and select next after a couple of seconds you will see the file has been started downloading Since I have already downloaded this setup, but let's have a look. Go to the show in folder and here you can see I have already two setups. So I'm gonna start and install this application. Click run as an administrator so that there is no problem with the permissions. And now click on next though you can also change the language if you want over here. Click next. It's actually background calculating the system requirements, preparing for setup and now you need to click next and accept the terms. Then also you can over here change the path if you want to, but generally I keep it the same default one, click next, next. And now from here it would take couple of minutes to install, meanwhile I'm gonna skip it. Now it's completing, so click on finish button and it would start the Power BI desktop app. After this I am going to discuss about some of the areas and we would do a very quick demo as well. So over here you can see that the Power BI desktop app is starting, it's initializing the model. So guys this is the very first screen which you will see over here and I am telling you one thing that Power BI you can also use it free. On my left hand side you can see that we can get the data or we can use the recent resources if you have already used it and there are two way to sign in one is try free another is sign in if you have already your email id set up then sign in otherwise try free and you need to set, uh, sign up for this power bi services on my right hand side also if you will notice there are what's new power bi blog forums and tutorials so you can use them as well as a reference material but right now i'm just gonna close it so what you can see that on the very top it's a ribbon which is very similar to the powerpoint ribbon where you will find the different options and on my leftmost side you will see three different uh, tabs one is for the report report is the area where we use the different visualizations and um, different fields we drag and drop the fields over here and then we can create the different visualizations like line graph or the bar graph, pie chart, donor chart etc. 
So this is the main area where we have to create the report. After that second tab is the data tab where we can see the tables and the data inside it, their different fields and third one is the model view where we actually create the relationships between the table though Power BI also detect it automatically but if we need to change it or we are creating certain other tables so we can do that too. Now let's uh, get quickly the data from just get, um, get data click on this one and I'm gonna use one excel file over here so please hang okay. on so you can see there is the excel file option and there are many other options are over there so Power BI is capable to connect, uh, connect more than 250 data sources so hundreds of data sources you can connect over here you can see Azure other services etc but right now I'm just gonna connect with excel file so search it and connect now we can locate our file so I'm gonna use this sample file data it's connecting because it's gonna make the connections with the file and over here we are importing that into our Power BI file so guys over here this is our first file if you would have the multiple tabs you will see multiple tables over here now we have two options either load the data directly or transform so transform is basically when you need to massage the data or you need to do some transformations in the data for example adding column deleting column grouping split the column etc so i'm just going to click on transform now the next pane which is going to open is the query editor query editor is very powerful where you can perform your etl operations so here you will see the transform tab and add column tab so in this one we can transform the data we can split we can change the data type we can perform so many other options over there but right now i'm just going to change the table name and close and apply so guys once the data is loaded you can see on the fields page there is a data table over there and there are different fields so now we are going to quickly create some visuals so that you can uh, get familiar with it and then you can try so first of all i'm just gonna give a report a name over here let's say it's uh, not the demo report let's make it uh, introduction to power bi desktop and now after that you can also format this one you can select the font size and then type of font that you are looking for even you can change the color alignment etc and drag and drop select it put it wherever you want to and now i'm going to create quickly a graph which is a bar graph horizontal and over here you can see now in the uh, uh, field pane there are the columns i'm gonna drag the into the values the block one which is a text field so it's gonna count but if the field is the numeric one so you have different options over there calculation like sum max mean aggregation etc and we are going to, uh, going to count number of blocks by year so i'm gonna fetch year field in the axis one so now you will see a beautiful bar chart has been populated which would so uh, which are gonna uh, which is going to represent okay 2000 to 2018 how many number of blocks are there so this is it guys so guys thank you so much for this video on watching this video in the next video we will explain about power bi services and its features in detail so please stay tuned i hope you like today's video for more videos stay tuned to our channel and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you